Hey there guys, Gal with the Count 23 back again with another unboxing video. Basically I was looking on um, uh, Play.com the other day and I saw that one of the deals of the day was a certain uh, Blu-ray box set I was wanting to get for uh, quite a long time but um, it was always like far too expensive. I think even now kind of the cheapest you can get it is about 60-70 quid which is like I'd no, no way I'd pay that much for it even though it's a, uh, a box set of uh, one of my top five favourite film directors. Uh, like I say, I love every single one of his films. This came out, I think, pretty sure it was this year, kind of early this year, uh, to celebrate his 20th year of making films. And so, yeah, I got this for, um, it was 39 99 basically, which for the amount of films and the fact that it's Blu-ray and the fact that it's quite expensive everywhere else, I thought it was quite a good deal. So I picked it up, and it is the Tarantino Triple X, or Triple X, Double X, uh, 10 disc box set uh, contains Inglorious Bastards, Pulp Fiction, Kill Bill Volume 1, Kill Bill Volume 2, Reservoir Dogs, Jackie Brown, True Romance and Death Proof. Uh, now the only one I think that I don't have on Blu-ray already is uh, Death Proof and Reservoir Dogs. Uh, yeah, true yeah, I think that's True Romance. Uh, over 8 hours of new special features on two discs and approved by Quentin Tarantino. So this is a his, um, his printed signature there. It's a nice uh, gold gold uh, lettering on the front there, uh, celebrating 20 years of filmmaking. It's quite a nice kind of artwork on there. There's the side, it says Tarantino Double X, again 20 years of filmmaking. And the back shows you what I get in the uh, in the set. I say some nice artwork it looks like on the front there, on the back even, or of the on the back of the inside I should say. Uh, the two discs uh, with over eight hours of never before seen interview footage. Quentin Tarantino, 20 years of filmmaking, an in-depth look at a career that started with a bang and two decades later continues to inspire fans and filmmakers worldwide. This piece includes reflections from co-workers, stars and master filmmakers as well as a special tribute to his greatest collaborator Sally Menke. I don't know how to pronounce that surname, Menke, Menke, I'm not quite sure. Who died I think a couple of years ago now. Uh, or who was um, his editor on every film uh, before um, Django. Django was his first film without her, on, by, without her editing. Uh, Jackie Brown, a film independent at LACMA event. Quentin Tarantino, Robert Forster and Pam Greer reunite for an intimate and enlightening uh, discussion about Jackie Brown, moderated by Elvis Mitchell, renowned film critic and creator for the film independent at LACMA series. Uh, Critics Corner of the Films and Quentin Tarantino, an in-depth critics dis discussion piece exploring Tarantino's films that have redefined cinema, and the impact of one of the most influential writers and directors of our time, and a collection of Django Unchained trailers. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the specific, uh, specifics, but there's all the logos for the films. Reading Be Locked. Uh, this is uh, There is a, a version in the US, so you can get it worldwide. Uh, obviously an 18. In fact, just trying to think, does, are any of his films not 18s? Just trying to think. I don't know any, it's not really important, is it? And there's the, uh, the top, so let's crack this bad boy open. Uh, from It's nice set and everything, but I wish it was a little, I wish A was a hard box, and I wish it was kind of a little bit more sturdy, it does feel kind of, there's quite a, quite a bit of air in there, it feels like. So hopefully it won't be damaged or anything. I've got the stickers on the inside, so I won't have to take that off. That's yeah, a cellophane off. And then, yep, yeah. oh god, opens it from the bottom, I didn't realise that. And this back is a, uh, is a back in a bit of paper. I hope we can get it off without ripping the back of it. And there's some glue residue on there, that's quite annoying, but I'll get, off, get that off easy enough, hopefully. So, yeah, like I said, that's just a out a uh, piece of paper <laughs> on the back of it pop that to the side and then like I say it opens from the bottom which I did not expect it nearly fell on the floor so yeah take the outer slip box off and uh, some characters from his uh, various films uh, I wish you kind of had a um, well like uh, you know like specific like each panel that have specific to specific film but anyway so yeah there's the uh, digipack, uh, Tarantino, uh, don't be telling me about foot massages, I'm the foot fucking master. 
yeah, just a quote, just different quotes from his uh, various films. And then here we have uh, Reservoir Dogs. I like it kind of, um, it kind of, it's like the same, on the disc, it's kind of the same kind of theme of artwork throughout it. So I don't know if I'll take all the discs out, but I'll take a couple out if I can get them out. And True Romance. Obviously, uh, only the one he wrote. Then so, I, I won't take all the discs out, but there's uh, which one's that? Uh, I can see it. Oh, Jackie Brown on the bottom there. Yes, like I says, goes Red Bar Dogs, True Romance, Pulp Fiction, Jackie Brown, then Kill Bill, then the Kill Bills, Volume One and Two, and then the Death Proof and Inglorious Bastards. And the bonus disc one and the bonus disc two. Uh, it just look, uh, looks like uh, oh, the either special feature discs are uh, region free, but the rest of them aren't. Region B lot. Oh, sod it. <laughs> so I've got these two discs back in. Like I said, I won't take all the discs out because it'd, it'd be kind of I don't know, too annoying. <laughs> oh, no, this video isn't already. Anyway. So, yep, yeah, there's the whole. Uh, I'll go through it slowly. So yeah, really looking forward to checking out these bonus discs. Might watch them now, actually. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you my. See if I can turn it over. <laughs> Don't want to rip any of it. So, yeah, there's the, uh, the back of it. Again, some really nice artwork. Kind of comic book style. Different characters from his different films. So yeah, very very nice set. This Def I'd say it's definitely worth forty quid, but I'm not quite sure if it'd be worth like the full price. Of course, like you know, never know. Like like a month down the line, it might be like twenty quid. You never know. But anyway, oh, all right, paying forty quid for it. Like I say, he's in, on my list of top five favorite film directors. Now I can see. If I can, I can't, hang on, I think, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, again, put that the outer slip box on the outside. So, yeah, very, very nice set, this, to go with an amazing director. I love every one of his films. There's not one film that isn't amazing, well, in my eyes at least. Pulp Fiction still being my favourite. It's my second favourite film of all time. So, uh, yeah, that's an unboxing for the Tarantino Double X. Um, is it eight? Yeah, eight disc. Uh, is it eight? Yeah, no, sorry, ten disc Blu ray box set. Well, eight eight films and the uh, two discs of special features. Again, okay, really nice artwork on the back there, on the side and the front. So, pop that there. Hopefully, it'll stay up, which it won't. No, oh, sorry, there we go. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, if you did, please uh, like and comment down below. Like if you didn't dislike it, I'm sure you will comment down below. So, uh, yeah, I won't keep you too much longer. So please rate, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.